We did have some questions in the game because naturally people were a little uh, put off by the game plan, I guess you would say, and, and, the, and the stalemate. Uh, so we, we reached out to both you know, um, all the social media, you know, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and we got some responses. Um, first one, we're going to go to uh, from our friends uh, in the Canadian Facebook group. Uh, the question is from Glenn William. He said, uh, what do you think was the biggest difference, and this is talking about Mark Uth, um, his games now that he's playing with a, uh, as a totally different player at Cologne. Um, so obviously last year when he was with us, in probably the last two years, he's done jack squat. Uh, but now I guess he's got a little bit of reinvigor- reinvigoration now and a new life maybe at Cologne, uh, getting some more playing time. Have you seen any of the games to, to make any uh, any suggestion on whether it's uh, it's the play or just dumb luck? No, I have not watched any of Mark Goot's minutes since he left, and I don't really think you can blame me based on how he had been playing for us. <laughs> I'm not going to go out of my way to watch him in Cologne in a match. Oh. Um, uh, I mean, for for a lot of his time at Schalke, he was like borderline less effective than Franco De Santo, which is not a thing that you really want to be. Um, but sometimes it's not a matter of quality. It's just for whatever reason, a particular situation, um, or style of play or just like the atmosphere at a club, you just can't settle and you need to go somewhere else, get a new change of, you know, change of scenery and new environment. And maybe something clicks for you or just, you know, um, the gears get greased in that way and you you can just play a little bit more freely, play your game. I I don't know. It, it, I, I, I would like to think it's not that we spent so much money on him that he had this like big expectation and he just got into his head or something like that because he wasn't like that big of a signing. It just, but for whatever reason, it just never really worked out for him at Schalke. Um, so we'll see if he can keep this up for Cologne. It's a very small sample size over there right now. Um, but if he's if he is playing well, and like I said, I haven't really been keeping tabs on. I know he scored that goal, but um, I'm happy for him. I, I, I want him to do well. Um, I don't take any pleasure in watching people play poorly that are you know on our squad or whatever like you know when Oot was in the lineup for Shelby, i wanted him to score goals so um good for him that he um is is going somewhere else we can get more consistent minutes and a different opportunity and is apparently taking advantage of it so far yeah he's got uh one goal two assists uh the very little action i've seen him uh, i saw the goal that he scored from the left wing side it seems like he's been playing more of winger or uh, just behind a striker last game against freiburg he played in the 10 role um behind cordoba so uh, the team did well. He got an assist in that game. And like I said, he has goal and, goal and two assists so far this season. So uh, he seems to be flourishing thus far. And, it's, I mean, it's good for us overall if, you know, he comes back or we sell. Maybe we can get more money for him either way. Um, you'd like to see the guy do well. Um, and Cologne needs the help, obviously, in the firepower uh, trying to avoid relegation this season. So, um, all right, so that's that's on Mark Uth. Let's get back to Schalke, actually, this time. Uh, so. Mm-hmm. 